Okay, she said your alcohol shop, the one that they would not even give you the answer, is about at least 10 15 years. I think the gentleman says 15, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in 2008, the alcohol shop was there. This is again a 100% shot. Uh, I think I asked for 2006, 2008. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give one more 100% shot for 2008. But the most important part is if you didn't know, and you can ask psychologists, you can ask psychiatrists, people that work in this field. Doing stuff like this is extremely, extremely difficult. It extremely affects your self-confidence when the answers are given like the answer I was given that you have heard an original tape in respect to this alcohol shop. And as a result of that, when your confidence is crushed. Uh, this tape was edited big time. There's a lot of clips I have just cut out because I'm afraid if I would tell the whole thing what, you know, what this could come out, this whole thing, I'm just going to be very short. The answer the lady gave me in an alcohol shop, this is the answer evident from earlier tapes you have to go over, was such as, I don't know, I don't know, um, I am new. And that was the kind of answer I got in all on all other locations and all other stores whenever I would make a mistake yeah including Tesco it would be exactly this kind of answer and it was this kind of answer I got if you want say mistakes because of the electroshocks because of the beatings because of the terror because of all kinds of stuff Russians did it was nothing fancy nothing nice about it and yeah I cut a lot of stuff out because really it wouldn't look good imagine that people who did this stuff imagine that people who did this kind of stuff right now one of them inside of my room the other one is below two Belarusian KGBs nothing fancy nothing romantic about it and when you go and you do the stuff like this and have a dudes like this challenging you inside of your room and so on there's just nothing funny about it. Yeah, a lot of other stuff happened that I don't even want to go into it. Just when I was making this tape, uh, another Belarus guy, but he is Polish, whatever, uh, at one o'clock, he would come and clean his hands himself in my bed sheets at one o'clock in the morning because he peed in his bed. You think this is funny? It's not. He went over my pockets and so on. Pants disappeared. Just a whole lot of stuff happened. Also here with the computers and so on. All kinds of stuff happened. I have talked about on the internet when I was doing this video. And so I kind of uh, realized that there might have been something more than just just uh, just some kind of coincidence. You know, these are these are these are different people, and you know the whole thing. I'm really really thinking about who to blame this whole thing for, what to blame. I'm gonna put it this way: if the police did not assist them, because I'm already having thoughts now about stuff that I have stated right now. When I was creating this video, all that stuff played out, all this stuff played out. If the police did not assist in this kind of stuff, and somebody must have done something so the people that always come out with the same answer, I am not sure, I am not sure about whenever I would make so-called mistake. On all other locations, it was the same answer, and I did other locations too. And so now, this time, I did the right thing and I got the same answer. 
if they were not assisted by the police they had definitely somebody within the police that did provided them with what most likely definitely was the police that absolutely was the police the one that have um, taught people on how to answer uh, whenever I asked them about year of the opening of the store and stuff like that if, if you know stuff like this and how to answer me also whenever I would make a mistake there is no doubt about that there is no doubt about that because when you do this Gersh and I did the center of the city and another location so on there is absolutely no doubt about that police alone suggested that they even ambushed Russians when they tortured me inside of the store right in front of the police station in fact on the other alcohol shop in the in the zoo shop and other alcohol shop that is next to the zoolog that's what they suggested they did so now if they were not assisted by the police then somebody which is very hard to believe too because of what happened think about when i called for the assistance what the police had to say they, they answered me that i had to have that i have to have actually a physical conflict fight with an individual so then they can assist me they have basically insisted on domestic violence so they could assist me so if if there is no doubt about it that somebody within the police department did assist the Ruskis even with this alcohol shop so even when you gave the right kind of question one resulted with a lie so you see this is the tough this is the stuff that digged me big time that really put the doubts you know in I'm gonna say in every bone and everything in me that possibly anything can place doubt in you and yes the stuff like this was happening right in front of the police station in fact in front of the police headquarters to be exact it's Gersh This lady saved me big time. There was no zoological shop. I'm gonna pause the tape, whatever, so you can feel the whole thing. There you go, Dvalati 2017 again, that's when I was brought from the Belarus. So you can see that I have identified the scenarios uh, <laughs> one way or the other. If it was not 2010, as I suggested, I came with a neighbor whom I really, really dislike, by the way. I got no reason to like him in any way. Um, it was a Russian live. 2015 if it was not the Russian lie 2017 quote Russian if it was really Russian as it was in 2017 they opened Zorlog shop and it was 2010 so Again, I recognize the scenarios in both cases. The problem, however, is that I mistaken the truth tellers now in this last act with supposedly were liars. And this is why I'm already asking myself who is liar here and who is a truth teller. The truth, however, is in between. It's the one that I already have explained. That's what hurts. The truth hurts here because you know just because of the stuff like that because of the tesco store i am heading now back to the library and i swear that i am going to retaliate for the stuff for that kind of stupidity and basically i do so by tracing the store where the ladies only worked uh and this store you are about to see one more time if I repeat. 
This is the Ulica Duga right here. This is the street where you will go to the police station from the library straight. Right here in Duga. This is Duga. Duga. Uh, in parallel to this street, there is yet another street. And what I do in this video now, I will present you the location. I will find there is a parking lot now and present you basically what exactly was at that location before it one became a parking lot. You see, it goes parallel. We would also come occasionally through this street. Now you're going to see a little wooden house like this and next to it you're going to see the parking lot. So as a bonus of all this, so you, you will understand that I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you exactly what was here in this parking lot sometimes in sometimes in 2003, 2004, 2005, uh, which is a really, really beautiful thing because if I would not know what I'm talking about, uh, I would just not know. But it just happened so that on my way back, I decided on finding the store that existed. Not the store. Store is gone. That's clear. The place have changed enormously, as you're about to find out. Some stores disappeared. There was quite big locations they disappeared, including this house here. But I'm determined to find the store in which ladies used to sell uh, pens, uh, a little notebooks, um, like a little cheap stuff you would find like in Chinese stores. Uh, and this ladies wanted to help me out so much. And so what I decided on doing is basically locating the store that existed once in 2004 at the end of the 2003 is the ultimate proof, but no longer exists. And so exactly what I did, the store was, it looked exactly as the house right next to. Uh, it was exactly like the house right next to the wooden house that you see right there. Uh, and then there were doors and on the left side of these doors, the ladies would have their shop. Um, they were a happy, hardworking ladies, always willing to assist, help. Uh, and in my case, they were eager, eager, eager to help. Now, before I would identify this location here, I had a real, real, real problem. Because why? Well, because, you know, when you walked on these streets under MK Ultra, and this is again psychiatrists, psychologists that know about MK Ultra can tell you that your state of mind depends on how much drug was used, how much substance is used uh, on your body. In other words, if it's a lot of substance, substance that is used, uh, you may walk, 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 walk for hours not knowing even what you are doing your mind basically shuts off. You don't know anything, you just walk. You're like, a, really, like an animal. You just walk next to your guardian, like an animal. And you don't actually know where you're walking. You're truly a dead man walking. Uh, and so, when you screw up, like my neighbor completely screw up, he brought me to the city like this, through the side street, this one that you see right here, several times, and this individual was always using drugs uh, disproportionately. Uh, whatever he was doing, uh, it was shitty because I, with him, I didn't learn anything, I didn't see anything. Uh, it was like walking next to, walking, and you didn't even know what you were walking next to. And it was always next to this idiot who had the worst intentions with me. And so what happened was when you do something like this, the person will, will, do, will mix the street that goes parallel to the other street. 
And when you make the first impression, the worst impression, the wrong impression in an individual's head, uh, it doesn't matter. This is also, they can tell you, the psychiatrists, psychologists. It's interesting. Uh, I would keep mistaking this street with the street, uh, Duga Street that you have seen, the street that goes from library to the police station. It would become extremely, extremely disturbing, confusing, especially because they would ask me questions. Uh, and I would keep describing this location and so on. And so I had a hard time finding this place, but there was a girl from Ukraine that popped up that supposedly was new. Uh, who, however, was not new. And she, I don't know how much it she realized or not. I have no idea how much it she realized. But the shop, the parking lot that you see right there was gone already. I don't know. Sometimes in... I have no idea when this, this parking lot, this thing was gone maybe already in 2013, the building replaced by the parking lot, maybe even earlier. I don't know when, when it was gone. The only thing I can tell is that the girl that you're about to hear tells that she is like working, I don't know, one month or something like this at this shop. But it's not like this. I remember her under MK Ultra. This is an interesting part yet. There were also people that would stop me on my way to Zgersh, that would stop Americans and so on. But none of these people will identify and say, yeah, yeah I remember you, I remember Americans and stuff like this. But what she does is, she tells me that there was a shop like this parallel to this street and it still doesn't click to me it doesn't click to me i go to other stores and i ask people about it and i then identify other stores as well but i'm looking for this shop i am looking for this shop that was right on this parking lot but is in the parallel street to this one and so finally it clicks to me that I'm thinking about all this stuff and it clicks to me finally, yes, it was, in, it was parallel, in a parallel street. And it did happen so because the stuff that I have mentioned, because they have improperly used MK Ultra. And in other words, they have me confuse streets, parallels with one another. If you would continue in the street and turn left, you would also come to a square and so on to that street. And so it was done unprofessionally, the MK Ultra. It was a lot of issues. And this just happened to be also one of the errors, one of the issues they have uh, done mistakenly. Okay. So now let's go and see how exactly I have managed to find this parking lot, as a matter of fact, where the store was based. This is really interesting. Tesco store, basically from Tesco is, I'm heading down Peduga Street as you're about to see, it's a counter, Tesco, I go back to the Duga Street, the main street, I turn left like this and I head toward library, just like that, along the way, uh, I start to think about this business, and this is a cosmetic shop. This is where I met the Ukrainian lady. The Ukrainian lady, you're gonna hear me talk uh, in continuation. Oh, everything mistake. The Ukrainian girl, who is she? The Ukrainian girl, I have met her maybe the first time in 2013. She met me when I was brought here. I believe it was 2013, the first time in Zgirsh. I'm pretty sure it was 2013. What happened with her? Everything for every person that assisted me, for everybody that assisted me, 
for the lawyer for everybody you're gonna hear I have more proofs I have more people Russians find out whoever was trying to assist me Russians find out for this girl they suggested her that I am no good that I don't know that I hate Ukrainian people I have no what told her all kinds of stuff it was all kinds of circus that developed sure enough very soon also the theory popped up that she got married here with a guy and they pointed me her location location her location is her location but I remember that the girl eventually alerted me because they did find out what they were doing and she did alerted me that this was not really her location she is Ukrainian seasonal worker in Poland uh, she still didn't learn uh, Polish language um, I don't know how much she stands really with her English skills she's like me I speak no English but I think she does here and there there is there is a word of English in her too um, just yet another good soul out there uh, looking out to do everything possible to help me out but in this store here the uh, Ruskis anticipated they would basically use her to set me up uh, the idea was for me to ask her you're working here already for so long and long and stuff like that uh, and I don't do that kind of stuff because I'm completely unsure uh, about the situation uh, you know you don't you don't want to go and do this stuff like that it's just so much of the Russian setup here so many clusters they created that as you have seen I have identified scenarios alone before I even went inside of the store uh, I already knew exactly what to ask and have pointed out even what kind of scenarios they have created what kind of lice clusters you would get you would they would you would catch yourself in it in, 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 in their net of lies, okay? So they try to use her as a setup. Uh, the thing about it is that this is a sweetheart, always was out there to help me out, looking out for me. In fact, she mentions, she says Parallel Street. She does not even know, she have never seen the shop I am looking for, but she says a Parallel Street and does not tell anything else uh, mentions Perrow Street which we're talking about 2002, 2003, 2004 business she knows nothing about the business but again uh, everybody knows me in Gersh and people are out here to help me out now if I would not know what I am looking for, where I'm heading, what I'm looking for. Um, absolutely, definitely, I would not find a place like this in a thousand years. But in my mind, I have the picture about the whole thing. The only thing is now I have to find this place. And I am confused on the streets. And if I would not know what I'm looking for there is no way possibly you know you would just basically continue down the street as I continue nobody nobody tells anything about the parallel street nobody tells anything but as I go around and I talk to other people and other people don't say anything about this business I'm looking for this word she says parallel street uh, more and more and more rings in my head and the information pops up the whole thing the whole net opens up about my neighbor uh, who yeah he did used way too much of whatever he used uh, for me to basically walk like a dummy next to him not knowing nothing about where I walked what this and that and would even mix the streets that were parallel okay this is really a dumbo uh, the worst of the worst punishment was to give me in his care um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't I wouldn't blame it on his education I wouldn't go that far uh, but in his character definitely I do 
because nobody did the stuff like this nobody did the stuff like he did walking next to him pretty much was a death sentence so I'm gonna go now and talk to this lady disregard everything I talk in continuation about I started to think about her being actually getting married here in I don't know 2013 and stuff like this cluster they point me out over there uh, even the building that now that she's happy that she she married the guy and so on they completely clustered whatever they find out about immediately they create their own scenarios lies and so on let's continue okay so now now as I'm going down the street cosmetic shop I didn't ask this was open sometimes in 2015 I think. basically it's an entrance and you go inside and then you have basically to go inside that you have to type in the number and then you go through and then you go inside of the shop through another door and I did not even go and I should not even say stuff like this because because Russians there were situations that were side streets where businesses were located like you have heard before already in 2004 2003 we were there and it was a hysteria a Russian hysteria don't even go inside of the street don't even go inside of the street because we don't go we don't bother with that these are all new businesses so they kill you before you even think about the thing so that's why I am refraining myself from stating when exactly this business was open I should go and see it first then I should say let's continue this filthy filthy nasty way she says it was this is a salon she said this is a salon salon for the for the ladies cosmetics and salon cosmetic salon and I keep talking to her about the store that had pants that had uh, it just talk uh, you know um, uh, cheap Chinese stuff um, stuff like uh, tapes um, like the stuff you you would you would get I don't know how to just I don't know in English the words the proper words Marschnitze, um, Cellotape uh, cheap Chinese stuff basically pants you would get a little notebook stuff like this where you could write um, maybe even stuff for the decoration cheap Chinese stuff basically stuff like this um, that's what this ladies that I remember the most because of the ladies and I remember the most because of the building itself it's like a pretty building um, and a super super beautiful nice ladies all the ladies these are all the ladies they were not young ladies these were all the ladies but these ladies were so much eager to help uh, these really were angels so that's why I am thinking about this this building particular I asked her what are you from Russia Ukraine Ukraine she said uh, 
If I would say that I know you, however, it would be a schizophrenia. Um, let me explain something. There were people that wanted to help me out, but they couldn't do anything according to them alone. If you will say you remember me, it's going to be a schizophrenia. Literally what you hear out of my mouth right now. It would be my death sentence. Ten years of tor uh, ten months of torture and death sentence. She wants to give me a... She gives me her telephone and here is a translator, please tell me and I will help you. Extremely helpful, good girl possible. with that translator it's too much noise and everything but just uh, such a sweet girl here is the translator here is this here is that I'm more than willing to help I tell her about what they have inside of the store and she says this is in the parallel street okay uh, this no longer is this building most likely was demoluted sometimes I have no idea maybe in 2010-2008 long long time ago many 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 times we would even go through that street there no longer would be a building. There would be nothing. Building was gone. <clears throat> I don't remember exactly when the building was gone. 2010 maybe, I have no idea. In 2010, parking lot, I think. And so, and most likely it was before that. Most likely the, bu the building was gone already in 2008. And so she doesn't say whether steel business is or is not. Uh, me personally, I disbelieve her. Um, I'm so certain the building was, uh, the business was right here. It's, I'm going to find the building must be in one of the houses following down must be right there somewhere um, but as I continue down the street more and more the memories start to climb back about stuff I have told you about the parallel street about the drugs that were used at times too often intraveno drugs that were used too often uh, way in, too, in doses way too strong for uh, body to to be able to process and once you create distorted picture that picture tends to remain uh, and you do have a problem then in real time you have a problem then MK Ultra this is this is very bad stuff folks 
If you want to distort the perception about somebody or something, then the MK Ultra is the way to go. And this is why the Eastern European governments uh, desperately use one so much. It's like a tool, it's like a desperate tool that they use to assist themselves in crime against people. Let's continue. They're desperate. This is a very good program because you can use that forced unemployment. You can learn that forced unemployment and MK Ultra brainwash distortion of reality uh, can completely change people, depersonalize them, dehumanize them, see them things differently. Like I said, a top secret was eaten by the bigger talk, by the bigger top secret. Those that use this kind of tools, that are using this kind of tools, often become victims themselves. The world itself is changing the perception about itself. And you have to understand that people that embrace, especially if those are small, if those are small nations, help create world that is world of top secrets. And then they alone become consumed by secrets and so on. Uh, bad things, folks, bad things are happening. And the best about it is some don't even rise, realize they're digging their own graves by doing this kind of stuff. They think it's fun. It's fun. It's good. And yes, it's good. Till it knocks on your door and then you get the taste of it. And that's called reality. One thing is MK Ultra, the other one then is a reality. Thank you very much to the sweet, sweeter than sweet, sweetest girl uh, for her information. According to her, I think she said one month only works at this place, whatever. Sweet she is, thank you. What we did, Matt, in 2015, 2017, absolutely, and knows about my case. Polish police would not advocate this type of logic, this type of things, if they would have nothing to hide, basically, right? Am I correct? The police investigates. They do not hide. They do not lie. They do not do this kind of things. So this is not this is not the standard for the police of any kind. Of thing. Police police departments worldwide should not should not orient themselves according to this kind of stuff. This should not be, this should not be your, uh, this should not be your um, guidance, stuff like this. This shouldn't be, this shouldn't be something that you should orient yourself according to. MK Ultra is a crime, 
And when the person identifies MK Ultra and points out and has a proofs, it's your job basically, especially then, to take hairdress and salon. Never was. Um, never was ever. Um, never ever was in the store where the boots are now. The shop you're talking about with cheap Chinese stuff, stuff like that. Um, that's a good one. They also sold like. I'm not gonna say like a markers, but where you can write notes and stuff like that, like little stick notes and stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff they used to sell. She said, never, 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 never. And I said, okay, but you, you were here in 2005 or 2004, I said. Uh, but you were here in 2005, I am here since 1972, and well, I was born in 71. And so, bing, there you have, that's another 100% shot for 2005. Uh, she was, she had the same lady, the same store, well, the store looks like new already in 2005, another hairdressing salon. But I continue to insist on this shop. I want to find this business that existed one time. I ask her about where was this then in that case. Where was it? I'm sick and tired of it. She does not tell me where it was. And other than this, she tells me, she reminds me there was a galleria, gallery further up from uh, this shoe store. All right, I'm still convinced there was a store over there, the one I'm talking about. Nobody knows anything. All right, uh, the lady, I'm talking about one thing the lady doesn't understand me. She's talking about... Um, Galleria that was there and about the house that was there. House that was there is gone. Exactly. Where the optic was, this is where the Galleria was. And I remember I can also describe how the Galleria was. A little bit in continuation. Um, I stopped by a gentleman who is right in front of this optic now. Where was the Galleria? And he explains me all these things. I'll just continue with this because I want to get to some other location, completely other location. Galleria. Something, nothing I'm look, looking for. Nothing. 
And I, I still think it was right there in this street that was this business with these ladies, with these beautiful ladies. There were three ladies that worked in that store. Okay, I'm almost a little bit depressed. Almost kind of, I don't believe this sweeter than sweet lady. This lady is a sweetheart. She, uh, this she was help. I mean, this, this, these are the people that, you know, let's continue with this. So then I go to the photogra photographer and he tells me about Nobody knows anything about the business I'm talking about. But I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about more and more, you know, more and more is coming to me as I walk, more and more is coming to me, I'm saying to myself, you know. And slowly, 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 slowly the memories are coming out, you know, to me. Even when I talk to the people, even when I talk to the people, when I ask people, I have like background uh, services running in my head. I can actually talk to you and think about something completely different. And that's exactly what's happening. I'm talking to these people and at the same time, I'm basically recalling. I'm recalling everything about the detail about the street that is parallel to this one. I'm pulling the information out what exactly happened what this and that and eventually eventually what happens is little by little i just revive myself and leave myself into what happened with the neighbor how he dragged me like a stupid like a dummy like you don't understand you walk and you're you're like with a closed eyes you know kind of like this it feels like this you just know where you're walking you know you just know you're moving the steps you're walking yeah it's very bad and you can be stopped you can be stopped and you stop there hello hello ladies this and that hello hello he's here uh -huh. ladies are happy to see you hello 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 you see the story you see it okay okay talk 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 and what happens is you go you fall back again into your trance because of this drugs you're totally subdued and again you walk down the street you walk down the street and you don't even know you go around the corner there's a bunch of stores over there the only thing is you open your eyes when you are in a main square over there now you what you open your eyes you see the street i'm in right now and so now it's the big ass misconception you have created that this business eventually is in the street because there's homes that eh, more or less you know you go uphill and the other one is uphill and it's like kind of you could blend that like this you could you would blend this stuff definitely if you would be let's say if you would not be paying attention let's say you would be let's say in in this town here in 2003 and you would easily blend you wouldn't even have to be under the influence of drugs paralytics stuff like that and you would um you would easily normally you would blend the memory with something like this it would happen to you easily very very easily and we are talking about here mk ultra we are not talking about like normal circumstances okay so i'm at the photographer now who is this photographer this photographer is very old Sgerjan family um all these photographers this is interesting they're old people very patriotic you know when i say patriotic this let's just say good-hearted people people that are out there to help because because this is what this is more than about anything else you know these are the main issues to me it is just a human being i'm dealing with you know he gives me a complete background about
Right, this is yet another budinek, another building. The the uh, gentleman, the photographer, the son of the the old photographer. That these people been here forever. Um, explains everything to me about what exactly was uh, at this place. He came here. I think he said what in ninety something, ninety three, whatever. And he knows exactly what went on. And he tells right in front of us there was this a little building that no longer exists uh, this is where the people would uh, live in this building next to this building uh, that's where the galleria is this galleria um, this is where you have uh, optiometrists now you have they sell glasses a store with the glasses um, oculist whatever you want to um, and he doesn't give me any useful information he doesn't tell anything he doesn't tell anything about the store i am talking about i'm still dreaming about my my store with the three ladies where a cheap stuff was sold chinese stuff was sold so i keep dreaming about that one uh and you know that's basically what I'm dreaming about. Let's continue. He, do, he doesn't give me any information, but but the information about that 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 lady gave me about the street that goes parallel to this one. If you remember the Ukrainian lady, um, he she should not know nothing about this. No, she doesn't know anything about this. She's this Ukrainian girl. This is a young girl. This girl is maybe. I have no idea, maybe that she's like 35, if she is, maybe. That's all she is. The memory comes, the memory comes, you know, when you, when you start to do the stuff, like start to, to search, and then it comes more and more and more and more memories, which are valuable. Okay, so here's a description of Mr. Leszek's store. Okay, this was a small store. I estimate maybe, hmm, I'm not gonna say four by four, but it must have been a really, really small store, maybe 16, 20. Small thing, actually smaller than that. I would say very small store uh maybe you know what maybe like three meters something like this and this way it would also be probably about another three meters maybe about maybe 10 square meters something like this was store of mr leszek uh and you know he had a merchandise like this hanged along the wall like this he would have the stuff like this 
on the wall and as a matter of fact I think pretty sure I am actually that this what you see here the showcase here it was not here it was just probably maybe so even something like this the showcase that was here and he would be here Mr. Leszek would be here this is the store of Mr. Leszek if I explain one and the gentleman this good gentleman he was all right I'm six so he probably was about 5.5 something like this maybe 5.3 um, he was built like middle built yeah I can recall him quite well Mr. Leszek God bless you wherever you are Mr. Leszek that's all I gotta say and this was the gentleman shorter gentleman he was about like this tall hair I am not sure but this was a, such a beautiful nice gentleman that always wanted to help me so much this older Gershon people they just wanted to help much as possible and this was the gentleman that had the store in 2003 and 2004 and then he closed one in 2004 so this kind of stuff for me to remember this kind of businesses like this that existed but then they don't existed they only existed in 2003 2004 just for you know according to my memory well actually in 2002 I, he existed too because we, we first came in 2002 and they immediately started Americans with this through this gear uh, it's quite extraordinary for me to remember that was Mr. Leszek's store uh, that's a completely different story I didn't get information now however I am already in the street parallel to this one uh, I skipped on original recording there is another lady that comes by yes I will give the original recording the whole thing I'm gonna post online the whole thing um, she knows nothing about this budinic because this was long time ago it is budinic now, I'm not sure 2010 it was demoluted erased 2010 maybe even 2012 2013 very difficult to tell exactly when the budinic was erased but it was quite some time definitely was erased in 2013 the chances however also exist that it was done already in 2010 in 2010 or 2013 earlier I said 2008 I'm not sure exactly when this thing was erased down she knows nothing about but there is another lady that comes by and there also is a gentleman this lady not but the gentleman that has hmm, how you say dimnikar in English would be the person that cleans chimneys this gentleman came too late out of his building to give me recognition whether there was um, the building with this kind of business there but he did watch and if I would not get this lady who came to confirm me uh, he would be the one who would come out if he would come out on time and give me the account the confirmation about uh, the building I can tell you that 100% he knows he knows me very well he remembers me very well from 2002 2003 2004 uh, now yeah I recognize literally a parking lot I found my business and on this parking lot I point out exactly 
more or less how the also house looked like. This was a wooden house. It was not completely the same like that one. The house was a little bit darker. This one you're going to see it's quite light like this. But the house where this business was based was a wood that was a little darker wood. And so there was an entrance and on the left side the ladies had uh, their room, their business inside. It was an old, this beautiful old Gersh house. But I think the house was in a very, very bad condition. And so they, there was no other way than to get rid of it. But I would love to see this kind of a house is back to life because they are uh, like a bloodline for history of this beautiful city, of this beautiful people. I like it. I like very much uh, to see this old house is preserved, well preserved. It kind of gives the soul to everything. It's like when you see older people and you see these old houses, you know, it kind of makes you feel good about the whole thing. And so, yeah, this was the business and you can see it. I'm going to show you. This is what I was. Okay. Um, Kuhinje, Okna Drivi. This is where Mr. Leszek was right here. He had his little business right there. Um, pretty much that's that. This is the Salon Friser store, which on the inside is. Uh, it looks like new. Uh, all through, it's the same lady, the same environment as it was, the same, the same thing. Uh, Americans would say kind of a funny type of setting inside, but it's nice. It's it's really nice, and it's really a beautiful lady that works in there. A lady that took special pride about knowing who is in the street, about businesses who was there, and so on. A lady that is a hairstylist, a hairdresser, like many others Gershon people, that does not go to work because she has to work, but goes out there literally to make people smile. I'm going to say she goes out there to see the people, to make people happy. About the best you can get in this life, I think. Yes, you have this kind of people in Sgersh. So older generations took tremendous pride in doing. Uh, and so, oh, okay. This is where the German bomb have fallen down and have destroyed everything in the World War II when the Germans bombarded. There is quite a few sad things. And what have Sgershon people saw in me under MK Ultra? They saw a German guy that is merciless. This is what the Ruskis build in their head. That is a neo Nazi, a German that is just merciless. Uh, this was a community that was super heavily affected by Germans in World War II. Not too far from here, 5,000 Jews were murdered. There is a there is a uh, there is a statue a memorial dedicated to this, and this is where they brought me. After Netanyahu created the problems to me with his daughter over there in Miami, as I have explained, he was this, he was one of the first people that played with MK Ultra, and this is he created the resentment, the anger in me against Jews, against whom I did not know nothing about before I even came to the US. I had no idea about any idea about these pe people. I didn't have any feelings, good or bad or whatever. I kind of felt sympathy for them based on, you know, from the books, from the history and stuff. I was kind of a sympathetic, but once they started to play with this MK Ultra, I, I just I changed, man. I, I, unfortunately, I took the the worst the worst turn possible. 
And Netanyahu used me to demonstrate the pure evil. There is a such thing like evil in this world. And you can see him, ladies and gentlemen, right there in front of you. Is it something you want to say to him? And you're going to see what he's going to say to you. And we went and insulted one another and so on and so forth. This was his game, so he got better deals at a table when he sat with the locals because he had to demonstrate there is such a thing like racism and that's also how he obtained the sympathy um, from the naive people, I mean, for his stupidities, basically for, for dividing entire Gersh community, but that's a totally other story. Okay, so um, this is the street parallel. You see this one here, Trete Gamaya, three main. One was Duga where I am, and now I go to the Trete Gamaya parallel. And there you have it. I'm thinking about Ukrainian lady right now, and I am pretty damn sure, very sure that the Ukrainian lady did most likely not get married here that was actually also a russian setup a russian brainwash but the lady i met this time right there this definitely was the lady that we met already before this beautiful ukrainian girl angel out there basically to help me out that's all So this is the building uh, next to this one that you hear that you see here older building in not such a good state uh, the building had a darker wood it was not so bright brown like this that you see right there but it was darker okay that's all I don't have anything else I would say uh, the next thing you're gonna hear the lady that comes by and eventually gives me the confirmation that on this location however there was a building in which exactly the type of business i have talked about was inside with this ladies that would run this building with this collegeanke
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you see this parking lot here, did you see it? Yeah, this parking lot, there was a building just like that one right there, you see it? Just like this. Just like this. The only thing was, let me see if I can with a finger, like this. Something like this. There will be a door entrance, okay? And inside of that little building, I don't know really for how long. I think it must have been in 2000 and, you know, I'll take you to 2003, 2004. There were a few ladies that worked. 2005. Must have been like three years, I estimate it was. Um, and they would sell pants. They would sell uh, like a little... Um, you know, notebooks, like kind of a stuff you see in a Chinese, like in a cheaper Chinese stores, they would have that kind of stuff, whatever was inside in there, okay? And this street goes parallel with the Ulitsa Duga, basically, which is, um, if you would go that way, it would go just parallel, okay? And you know how this this works okay it all depends how much you how much drug you use an individual uh, under MK Ultra you can walk and walk and walk and you're not even realizing you're basically walking you really are a dead man walking uh, if it's a lot of drug they use you would not know where the hell you are standing. What are you standing in this street or the street parallel to this one? You have no idea what kind of mess this is. Uh, if that mess right there, where was a building, doesn't scare you enough, stuff that Donald Trump basically demanded from me, I would tell the people about how it was and so on. Eh? Sak, Pian, Knie. Ja, Mr. Zobita.